hello 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 so today i wanted to share with you guys a science experiment of course we need to put on our gloves so let's put on these gloves these gloves i got from um kids in need where it's a company that basically donates school supplies to teachers in underserved schools or low income schools and they give us like all types of classroom um, supplies. Anyways, today's experiment is called rainbow in a bag. So these are the things you will need. You will need a Ziploc bag. You will need some small cups. This is a universal indicator and basically it will indicate if something is an acid or a base. We also have some salts. This is sodium chloride, NaCl. We have some soap and some baking soda. We got baking soda, yes. This is the perfect example for chemical reactions and it teaches the students about or evidence that a chemical reaction has occurred. So the first thing you wanna do is in your small cups, you want to put your variables. You wanna put your baking soda, so I have my cup here and I'm just gonna pour some baking soda in here like so. Doesn't matter how much, just enough that will fit into your, so I have about this much, and it will fit into the bag. I also need to get some sodium chloride. This is quite old, it has clumped up, so I'm gonna try to get some from the sides that are not clumped. with our little tool here. Can you see it? Oh, you can't see it. Okay. So we have some salt, we have some salt, we have some baking soda, and what else do we need? And lastly, we are going to use some soap. It can be dish soap, hand soap, any soap. A few salt grains that had dropped in there. So I'm just gonna squirt one, well, one and a half. So we have our soap. Move this back over here. So we got our three variables. We got some soap, salt, baking soda. Okay. So you're gonna keep your bag laying flat on the table like so. And what you want to do is, oh, I need one more cup. Just remember. I need one more cup because we need to put our universal indicator in here. So I'll put that there and I'll pour in about that much. That is about 15 milliliters of universal indicator. So you're gonna take, what you're gonna do is you're gonna open your Ziploc bag and you're gonna take your variables and the object is to put the variables in separate areas. So you're gonna put your baking soda in one section, your salt in another section, your soap in another section. So let's see, let's put it in our bag, but let's try to do it carefully so that it's divided. So we've got some baking soda here. And we're gonna put some salt. Now, the be for the best results, instead of using NaCl, you should definitely try and get you some rock salt. Rock salt will give you an even better reaction. So put it here. And then I'm gonna try and get our soap. We'll just wait for it to fall down. It's, it's coming along, it's, it's almost down. And we're just gonna put it like in the middle of the bag. But again, we're making sure our bag is flat. OMG, I forgot a variable. Let me go get it. I forgot our effervescent tablet. And I'm just gonna take one tablet. Take one tablet and place it into our bag. 
okay so everything is in the bag Let's see if i can carefully show you guys everything is in the bag in a separate section now we are going to pour our phenol red into the bag omg do you see that it's like a rainbow in a bag so this is an example this is showing us and we can move the phenol red so that it is touching everything in the bag so again here are our results i'm going to move this trash over to the side but yeah this is our rainbow in the bag again i'm going to lift up the bag so that more of the phenol red can reach over to the baking soda but yeah we have a rainbow in the bag we have yellow orange green blue and we have bubble formation which is evidence of a gas being produced and we have temperature change it is now cold if you touch it the temperature has decreased and that people is our reaction for this week our chemical reaction so this is a great introductory lab or demo for the students when we're teaching chemical reactions it shows you about three factors that are proving that are evidence that a chemical reaction has occurred and so this is perfect for those um, beginning learners who don't know anything about chemical reactions and you can you can do this before you teach it but I would suggest you do this demo after you teach the uh, groundwork on the lesson so you teach them what a chemical reaction is you teach them what happens when a chemical reaction occurs and then you show them proof so this would be a good um, good lab a good demo for that Thank you guys so much for tuning in. So Marcella and I will be posting videos of several different chemical labs, biology labs. So please come back for a new video on next week. Thank you guys so much. And look at my rainbow in the bag. Look at my rainbow in the bag. So cute. Isn't this cute? The students love it. They really do love it. And you can just throw it, to, throw it in the trash when you're done. I think one thing we could have added maybe some vinegar that would have been that would have been cool too we probably would have had more bubbles with the vinegar with the alka seltzer again thank you guys so much for watching come back next week for more videos bye